In this video, I'm going to show you how to redirect all 404 pages to your website's homepage. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on Plugins, and then click on the button that says Add New. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the Account section into your Download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the Plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Redirects. And this will bring up our Redirect Manager, an extremely powerful tool for handling redirects on your website. Today, what we're going to want to look at is the Settings tab. So go to the tabs up top and click on Settings. And if we scroll almost all the way down the page, we get to the section we're concerned with, the Advanced 404 Settings. So if I toggle that switch on, we can redirect all 404s simply by flipping this toggle switch on. And then we can decide whether to redirect those to the home page or to a custom URL. Now, this is not for everyone. Typically, the best user experience is to redirect someone to a piece of content that is relevant to what they were looking for. For example, if someone was looking for a red basketball shoe that you no longer carry, you could redirect them to a green and black basketball shoe that you do carry. But there are certain use cases where you may want to redirect all 404s to the homepage, and this is where you can do that. The advanced settings below that are only applicable to the Elite plan, but if you did have the Elite plan, you could also redirect 404s to a parent page or parent category. So again, with that e-commerce store example, if you were no longer carrying this red and black sneaker, you could redirect that page to your sneaker's homepage instead of to the homepage of your store. Now, if we scroll all the way back up this page, I just want to go over some of the settings that we blew past to get to that 404 redirect to the homepage setting. So the first thing you see is the redirection method, whether you're going to use PHP or the web server. Most users can just leave this at the default at PHP, and it'll work just fine. But if you're an advanced user and know why you would want to redirect at the server level, you can choose that. And we have support for both Nginx and Apache as well. But I'm going to leave it at PHP today. The section below that talks about logs, so you can decide how long to keep your 404 logs, anywhere from up to one hour to forever. And with your redirect logs, we have the same options available. You can also log external redirects. You can log HTTP header information. You can log IP addresses. And there's a link here with information about the ramifications for that as far as GDPR privacy compliance is concerned. Below that, there's a section about HTTP cache headers. And you can cache those redirects or not for anywhere between one hour and forever. Below that, the next section is automatic redirects. This will monitor your post and pages and see if there's a change to the URL 
and then prompt you to put in a redirect if someone makes a change. You can do that on all post types or you can do that only on your post or only on your pages. And then there's also an option to monitor the trash. So if you throw something out, you will be prompted by All-in-One SEO to put in a redirect for that page or post that you have thrown out. Below that is defaults for the redirects. By default, it ignores the slash and ignores the case. Below that is the redirect type. We default to 301 move permanently, but there are lots of other options here. If you know what you're doing with your redirects, I'm gonna leave it at 301 move permanently. And then for query parameters, the default is exact match all parameters, but there's other options there as well. And then of course, there's the option to redirect all 404s to the homepage, which is how we started this video. When you're all done making the changes here, go ahead and click the big blue save changes button. I'm actually going to disable this because I do not want to redirect all of my URLs to the homepage. And then I'm going to hit the big blue save changes button. So that's how to redirect 404s to your website's homepage. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to quickly and easily build internal links using Link Assistant. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.